and welcome to this, I, I need to say, this month's video because I have been so busy and I'm so, so sorry to all of my subscribers. Um, but yeah, I've been super busy and this is this month's video. So, as you can tell by the title, the Lizzie is doing a competition and to get your entry in you have to create a look and put it in before the 1st of July. So that is what I'm doing today. As you can tell by the title, once again, a glam Hollywood look. So basically I'm going to be taking myself from this to be like, oh my god, hallelujah. First off, what we're going to do, we're going to moisturize using Asano Rosehip Moisturizer. It's my favorite. So when I think glam, full glam, I think Marilyn Monroe, I think BB Rexa, I think, well obviously because I have the blonde hair um, with a tad bit of regrowth, excuse that, um, I just think glam, like you know the curls and sparkle and gloss and all that stuff, reds for some reason, like red carpet, so that's what we're going to be doing today, red glam glitz. Blah, like the whole lot. So I'm super excited because I haven't done a video in ages and I'm just gonna be like wowee guys. Who is I'm just gonna use any old um, foundation today. I'm, I swip and swap between a very big range of foundations depending what I feel like, depending what's on special, depending on how much money I have that day, you know what I mean? So this one is W7, um, a very affordable foundation and it's a matte made in heaven heavily foundation, heaven heavenly matte foundation. So yeah, this is it here, and I'm just going to pump that on the back of my hand, and spread that all over my face. Now because we're going glam as well, you want full coverage, um, although nowadays freckles are very cool. Nothing wrong with freckles, but I'm going full coverage. Get rid of all my redness, the only red I want is on my outfit and on my lips, not my nose. Right, so for concealer, what I'm using, I would really love to use the Thin Lizzy concealer. I had that back, way back in the day, when there was the concealer, powder, and lip gloss, and eyeliner all in one. Siobhan and I, my best friend and I, we went halvesies or whatever, and we got the two-for-one deal. So I have been a Thin Lizzy lover for ages. Um, I just haven't happened to get my hands on any of it. So at the moment, I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain. And popping that underneath my eyes and all of those areas that I want to look extra flawless and a wee bit more highlighted. So to set all that down I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder. This on the back of it says that it's really good for no flashback. So if you're a good glam holla, Hollywood Hollywood girl, um, then you'll be wanting to have no flashback. You won't be wanting to have any flashback. So I'm just going to pat that all down, pressing it into my skin instead of stroking, because that's going to create like pulling and it's going to move the foundation around. We don't want to move it. We want to set it in place. Now the part we're all looking for too is the Thin Lizzy. I got mine from Farmers and this retails for I think $30. And this is what I think Thin Lizzy really started out with is the 6-in-1 on the back there. I, should, I just realized then that I got white. Anyway, so it says on the back, on the side here, what you can use it for. So we have an eyeshadow, which is when I was first learning makeup, which is the only thing I knew about. Um, I used to use it as eyeshadow, blush, contour, everything like that. I used to use it on um, So eyeshadow, blusher, contour, a face framer, and a lip color, and a body bronzer. So open it up now. I'm so bad at opening things. You can never open them nicely. Oh, it's exciting. Ooh, I remember when the whole thing was like that shiny, like blue. Oh, what else did I get? I got a brush. This is new. This must be the body thing. I'm going to try that on my chest because I was going to fake tan and I didn't. So it comes with a wee leafler. Then the Z6 in 1 powder. Total makeover compact set for naturally radiant look. 
very detailed. So it's got everything that you could possibly need it for. So you're not just getting a contour, you're getting all of these things, which is really awesome and well worth your money. So that's their before and after there. So we're competing with their before and after. <laughs> okay, so I'll use their brush for the purpose of the video. So it's this really nice soft brush with cute blue. Very nice. I, yeah, now it says I got light, so. I am. That's fine. <laughs> so that's it there. And I'm just going to contour now with this. That brush feels so good. It's so fun. It's so fun. I've got quite a square nose and I like to distract people from that so I'm going to be contouring my nose now for you use the mirror that this comes with oh, now I'm going to use that little thing that came with in this thing are you ready? So now I'm going to blush, just using a wet and wild blush oh, on my cheeks. And for highlight I'm going to be using the wet and wild again. You can tell I like the wet and wild plus farmer's just got a wet and wild stand so I was like going to town on that. Fibre brush to pop that on my cheekbones right there. And we're in Hollywood so the more highlight the better using your Chi Chi's Brow Pomade in the shame shade in the shade Warm Blonde. So because I'm going to do quite a dark smoky eye, I'm going to use the Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 as my base. I'm going to use quite a dense round blending brush and just pop that in the crease and kind of what maybe on the crease and then blend it all over the lid. So you could just do this alone if you're thinking about investing in this product then you could definitely just do this as like a summer eye look just something nice on the eyelid. We're gonna smoke it up. So I'm gonna be using my Morphe palette I'm just going to be using a dark brown down here on a loose blending brush. This brand is Chisa, and I'm just going to apply that to the crease, out of V. Now what I'm going to do is get my finger and just put it in the gold there. You can tell I quite like to do this look. So I'm just going to be using this gold and that gold there, and just go like this. I just find I get the best pigment out of it this way and I'm just going to rub it on the center of my lid there. Don't worry about blending it just yet, we will get there. Right, now to help blend it, go back into that dark brown that we sort of come in with a second and just go back over and blend the two together. And then you just get any white highlighter shade. I'm going to be using the Carly Bible white round there and I like to pop this on my inner corner because I find that it really opens my eye. I'm gonna go in Hollywood so go on Hollywood. Why not? I'm going to use a little bit just to run under my brow bone there. Always looks really good in the old Instagram photos. 
Right, so to glam it up even more, I know you're thinking, fine. I'm going to get a black, just any old black. This is another Morphe palette, like so. And I'm just going to take the smallest amount, even the smaller than small amount, it's too small, like it's too big. <sighs> it's gonna be too much. So prepare yourself with a little brush and a big blending brush. And I'm going to just dab this literally in the shape of a V. Like that, and then get my bigger brush and go back over and blend it so it's not so harsh. Get a little bit again and I'll go under on the left side. This mascara is the Lash Renegade and this is by Wet n Wild once again. Oh, where are we? Oh god. Yeah. There we go. So I'm just going to pop that on. So the colour I'm going to go over the top of that with is the Kiss Me by Live Glam and this is in the shade Poison Apple. This was with the Halloween collection. Um, these lippies you buy, you get three every month for like $20 or something like that. So I'm going to use that now and I need to be very precise. So get my little compact mirror again and let's try this. Man, red is hard. Ooh. To gloss that up because to me Glam's Glitz is sparkly. So this is called Flirt and it's in Kiss Me Again. Live Glam. Ooh. I think we're done. I need to get dressed and do my hair. And we will see the finished look. in the corner and um, I will try and get on to uploading more regularly I absolutely love doing it I have trashed my entire house doing this video but it was worth it I'm really happy with the outcome I'm glad I went with the bold red lip and everything I am I, I really wish that I could go out right now but it's a Sunday night and that's not happening so um, if you are from Thin Lizzy and you are watching this please take my uh, entry very very seriously I would love to win it and I hope that you liked it and I will hopefully see you another time <laughs> bye guys Mwah.